All right, back. This is game number three, week four against the University of Pittsburgh. Just a quick preview. These this team seems I don't know to me. They, I think they're a little bit better than Pitt, than uh, Washington State and Stanford. This is going to be the inaugural home game, uh, first ever in school history at Area 51. ETs. It's going to be a good one. We'll see how many people show up, aliens or humans. Everybody's welcome. And just looking at the last couple games, obviously they're tough ones, especially Stanford. These guys put up 70. At the beginning of the game, as I said at the end of the last video, I thought it shouldn't have been um, this much of a blowout considering the end of the first quarter was so close. But hey, those turnovers late in the second quarter really uh, messed us up bad. Uh, they just capitalized on touchdowns, seven points, not even field goals capitalize on touchdowns off of our turnovers and bad mistakes that's on me but let's see how this game um pans out to be you know it's gonna be really interesting playing at home we'll see if that has any sort of advantage probably not because of how bad we are but any sort of mojo we can get any sort of advantage or edge we can get is just good for us so i'll take anything all right, for the home uniforms, what we, we're probably just going to go with the regular home. I don't know if uh, we're ready. I don't know if our home crowd's ready for the alternates. We'll just open it up. Very traditional, very straightforward. I mean, I'm a fan of these jerseys. I like how they look. Well, we'll see. We'll see who shows up. We'll see who uh, who brings the noise, who brings the, the home support. Still dead last in the country. Um... Our punter, Pedro Brader, is the leading rusher on the team by far and uh, already has 200 yards in two games. So he's easily going to get 1,000 yards, and we'll see if he lands on any list uh, of some postseason accolades based off of his performance with his legs not kicking the ball. So it'll be interesting. Yeah, as you can see, it's uh, not a lot of people here, but I understand why it makes sense. But hey, we're going to do what we can to turn this program around and to make us into a household name. As you can see, it's uh, we're out in Hiko, Nevada. There is uh, not a lot out here, just a desert, just a, a real nice football stadium in the middle of nowhere, probably near the base and wherever the campus is. I'm assuming it's in the same area. That's where we're at. The draw. Here we go. On defense. Squaring up to the ball, not diving too much. I dove too much the first two games. I don't understand why. I mean, maybe, you could, well, I do understand why. There's speed so bad to compensate. But we need sure tackling. I just whiffed on too many times. No turnovers. We're throwing the balls hard to not throw picks when we're throwing 50 times a game, but do what we can. Here we go. Okay, these play action picks are getting to me, man. Come on, I, had, I just got faked so bad. This game's just ridiculous with these play actions. Look at this. That's just my fault. No one open on that play. Not enough guys out in the on the perimeter. I had three guys going. I gotta get at least four, or five guys ideally to make some plays out there. It's just there's only a couple guys running around. By how slow they are, defense can recover. Just hey. The impact player is fast. Gosh, man, who was that guy? He's just closing on that. No chance. I don't like how this game does that. It is just 
unrealistic. Like this isn't you know, this isn't even the best linebacker in the country. It's like a crazy place. I don't know what that was, but that guy must have got scared and ran out of bounds. I didn't no one hit him, no one touched him. Close it even up. They run up the action. I'll let him get the pass, just no runs. Hey, we stopped the run. We let him get a pass. Hey, they got all the time in the world. It's, our D-line can't do much. And that was just unbelievably easy. Crowd. The ones that stayed home, the college kids that stayed home, they just knew already that this was going to look like this. So they did a good job not wasting their time coming out to the game. Here we go. Got a little mesh, mesh action going. much better than the first two teams we played. Probably a combination of all of the above. That was to Dan Robinson. Here you go, Christian. Good catch. Come on, same play. Get him off sides. Come on. Off sides. Oh. There you go, Chris. Hey, we'll run no tempo. We'll run fast tempo. No huddle all day. And guys, 99 stamina. We're aliens. We don't get tired. Okay. Here we go. Looking for James Harris's best best throw, best route to throw. Chris. Oh my gosh, look at that throw. Last move for the quarter. Oh my gosh, man, this is so this is so frustrating. You understand how frustrating this is. I don't know why no one wants to do this 40 overall mess because of how bad this is. This is unbelievably horrible. Oh, get it, Lee has a lane. Here you go, start of the second quarter. We need a drive. Come on. Oh, good grab. Good grab. Sure, this team prep for us just there's no punt return. Just playing defense all four all four downs. Oh, this is a good defensive play. They didn't even get to the sticks. Any... Get the pick! Oh, that would have been the first pick. Oh man. No ability to move side to side. These guys are just boards running out here. <clears throat> I'm just an aggressive play caller like that. I just gotta be able to make sure I make the right read and the right throws. So I'm looking for Chris. Let's go, Chris. Prove me wrong. Come on, ref. Hurry up. How is that, how is that, how is that a fumble? Are you kidding me? Tuck rule. His arm was going... That's Tom Brady. Tuck rule. His arm was going forward. 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 Still his head. Forward. Still his head. Forward. Still his head. Throwing. Once again, he's 
That's the same play that got us earlier. I know you guys are tired of hearing Pitt's fight song over and over again, but you're going to hear a lot of, that of our opposing team's fight songs playing over and over again each game. There you go, play the wheel. Come back. The thing about these older NCAA games is that the receivers have the best chance to beat their defenders on deep routes. What's the problem with that? I can't throw the ball deep when my guys are 5-5. Five five. Oh Pedro time. Pedro time. Block. This HB blades, man. Scraping across all the way across the floor from the other hash to the sideline. Oh, Barnett. What happened? can do. You can't throw the ball f further than five yards. You know, the receivers have been dropping because they've been parting too much the night before. These guys watch film like, these guys are sure ain't punting. Oh, what the heck? That's what I'm talking about. Dots. Dimes. Come on, catch these guys while they're on the ground on their knees. Ball. Get upfield. Way to fight. First down. Christian. Oh, you lucky man. James Harris executing on this drive, man. Keep it going. Come on, let's get back to our bread and butter. This is our bread and butter. What? Why the ball bounce so high? It's roasting us. Here we go. Oh my. I'm screwing over Jimmy Wyatt, man. That's all. Overthrow. They still throwing the ball. These guys, man, I'm, I'm getting a revenge tour for all these teams that's whooping us like this. This is disrespectful. I'm about to start hurting guys. Man. Look at that drive. Two plays, 54 yards in nine seconds. Chris. 
pad James Harris stats, man, to make him look good. Oh, you hear it. All day. You don't get tired? Come on, we're aliens. You don't get tired. Look at their defense. They're scrambling like a bunch of chickens with their head cut off. All day. Man. Why is the pump bouncing so high? Yards. What are you doing, Dan Robinson? Look at you, fat boy. Eating too much chicken. That's good. Strip. Gosh, grand total of seven yards. Get a pick. Oh, that's an interception. Oh, someone got crushed. Another one. Oh, wow, he missed it. Oh, let's go. Good breakout, look at this. I never. Why is this? What is going on? Why are these guys just passing? Oh my goodness! Oh, good catch! Way to get down there for that. Come on, Pedro! We need you, man. Let's go. Oh, we almost had it. Offensive corner said, screw it. We're just running it with him all day. Okay, maybe not like that. Let's go. Reverse field, best touchdown. Beat one man, one man to beat. Let's go. Pedro, Pedro for president. He's such a good kicker, but I'm just messing up his accuracy. These long kicks, so I'm give him something. We will onside kick. Oh, get bounds. Someone get it. That's probably our first tackle for loss all year long. Might be our only one. No face. That's a block in the back. Where we at, Pedro? How we feeling, man? Oh, is he getting tired? Doesn't matter. Let's go. Get the ball. Oh my goodness. Here, let's take a look at the stats. I mean, it's it's similar, right? Like these, the other team just has doesn't get a lot of opportunity to make any sort of stat line because they make so many quick touchdown drives in about one to two plays and obviously our time of possession is much longer than theirs because we're over here trying to throw two yard passes and these guys get 80 yard plays you got the individual stats man james harris had a rough day the four picks today just seemed like they were doubled like as if he threw eight 17 for 46 113 yards Pedro, man, Pedro is coming in clutch for us. 139 yards, one touchdown. 
you know what I mean? We really relied on him. Uh, receivers, they did a good job catching these catching these short passes, but again, it's just what can you do when your speed's just 40 overall? Defensively, we did a little bit better with our tackles, uh, a little bit less diving, which I'm, I'm assuming everyone else appreciates, including myself. Jimmy White, man, had a tough day again. He had, almost had a 65-yard field goal. I believe it was 65, something far. A yard away from the goalpost. So, I don't know, man. We're going to go into conference uh, kind of knowing where we're at and where we stand with how our offense and our defense and special teams is important. How that runs with our team. Um, hopefully, I believe just... We had it's a solid off season off outer conference schedule. Combine the records with the three teams we have already played. Um, they're eight and one, so it's not like these guys are garbage and we're just losing to some bad teams. These guys are pretty good. Gave us a kind of a, a threshold to kind of look at and compare where we are to some other teams. So these other teams were obviously a lot better than the whack opponents in our conference. So hopefully. Once we get into conference play, we'll play a lot better and can get, you know, some more yards, some more completions, some more tackling, and force some turnovers finally. So we'll see how it happens. Our next game is going to be against New Mexico State. Home game. Um, I don't understand why New Mexico State overall record so good. Bees? I thought they'd be at least, or at most, C's. Let's look at the rest of the teams. C's, C plus, D, C, C's, B minus, and then B's. Like I'm saying, I thought I thought New Mexico State would be along Idaho and like San Jose State's level, but apparently they may be pretty good. Looking at their stats, they got a ball oh man. It's gonna be bad. They got a ton, they got a ton of passing offense. Their passing offense is ridiculous. The fourth in the country, they just sling the ball around. Man, rush offense is terrible though. Turnover difference for us is great. That's next week. Let's see if anyone's played any games so far in our conference. Nope. I think everyone's probably starting this week or maybe next week, so we'll see. But that's another one of our videos. Thank you guys for watching and tuning in. Uh, like I said, this is going to be tough. This is going to be really, really tough uh, season. Let's see how our status is. Let's see how everyone thinks, what, every, what everyone thinks of us. Job security is pretty low. Sports writers are riding a wasted talent in botch coaching. I don't know about the talent part, but botch coaching. You could add that in there. Oh man. Team goals, winning season, receiving bull bit. Those won't happen maybe for until the last year. So I do have some pressure because I thought the contract status was five years, but it's only three. Not good, not good. But we'll see what happens. We've got to turn around. We've got to win some conference games. Definitely winnable against some of these teams like San Jose State, Utah State, and Idaho. But it's still going to be difficult because of our defense. We cannot stop a cold. We'll see what happens. New Mexico State, I believe that's week five, week six. It's going to be our first conference game of the season. Excited for that. It's going to be another home opener for the conference. But tough break today. Um, tune in for the next game. Hope you guys enjoy. See you guys when we play New Mexico State. See what happens.